to Fred's Guitars. This program features all different styles of guitar playing, from rock to jazz, from blues to folk, and classical music. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> That's sequence number four. Once again, it's open strings, hammer on. The same time, I'm picking the upstroke. Now I'm going to come back with the pick and play the fourth and fifth string on the downstroke. Add the pinky on the second string with an upstroke. Again, fill with those fourth and fifth string. Then open first string back to that fourth and fifth, and then back to the pinky. So I'm constantly going back to that fourth and fifth string. Now I call those chord notes fills, because they're in between the notes that are being heard for the melody. So once again, I'm gonna hammer on. Okay, once again, hammering on the open strings to establish that D chord while I'm playing that second string at the same time. Pinky on the second string, open first string, back to that pinky, then open second string. Now we're going into sequence number five, which is gonna be built around the E7 chord. So right before we get to that E7 chord, I'm upstroking on the second string, and then I'm gonna strum the chord on the downbeat sequence which establishes that E chord. Now I'm going to lift up the third finger on the second string and play that open and then back to the chord then add the pinky chord again first string. So once again let me show you from uh, the D chord that sequence there. Seven chord. And I end it by playing the fourth and uh, third and fourth string and up pick on the second string, a little fill chord there. So once again from the hammer on going to the D chord. I watch the strumming, I'm constantly using that up and down strum, down and up. So once again, I'm going to do sequence number one, two, three, four, and five. So here's one. Okay, you got it? I'm trying to do it very slow for you, but if you record this and you look back at it and you watch what I'm doing, you should be able to figure it out. It's a very, very nice song to play. It's so much fun to play this. It takes a little bit of practice to get the picking just right and to find the strings. I find the most difficult part about playing this song is not playing the chords, but centering where I'm placing the pick for those melody notes. Then sometimes that gets a little uh, dicey there. Okay. All right. Now we're ready to move to the second part of this. Here, uh, here comes the sun, the little darling part of the song, which is also the intro. So here we go again. So there we have the first part of the little darling part of the song, sequence number one through five. Now to continue with that, it starts just like the beginning again. Sequence one, sequence two, sequence three, hammer on. Now it changes, I'm gonna go to the first finger on that second fret 
on the first string, come up with the pick, again that fill chord, open, set, uh, first string, fill chord, pinky, second string, fill chord, now I'm going to play the open, second, third, and fourth string on a down stroke, and then I'm going to play that E7 chord again with another down stroke. So we got two down strokes in a row. Hey, first time. Everything else has been alternate. So from that, uh, the fourth sequence altered. So there we have the whole first introduction to the song the little darling section of the song. Now this repeats a number of times throughout the song with a couple little variations at the end. So I'll play the whole intro once again. Now watch, I'll try to do it very slow. Sequence number one, two. Sequence three. Oh, let me try it again. Sequence one, sequence two, three. Sequence four. strokes in a row and we have that little synthesize, synthesizer sound comes in after that on the recording. Next section of the song we're going to go into after the intro is called the Here Comes the Sun section of the song because the guitar is playing the melody with the chords while the vocals are being sung. So we call this Here Comes the Sun. It starts once again with the A chord and most of the time when this is repeated, there's a little fill strum on the first beat, one. And then the pick goes down to the first string. And then you lift the second finger up the chord, open string, upstroke. And now I'm going to continue with another upstroke, putting the second finger back. And then another upstroke on the second string. So it's like three upstrokes in a row. We play the little fill chord down on the first string, up, up, up. So it's three ups in a row. Now a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go down with my wrist, even though I'm not playing anything for that down stroke. So it keeps, my, keeps the time and with the pick coming up. So it's... Now back to the first string, down. We're gonna alternate pick from here on. Down, up on the second string. Open first string, down, then up. So it's do, 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 do. So it's. So watch again how I keep in that time and going with the wrist. Now I'm going to go back to the D chord, playing, starting it by playing those two bottom strings open and then hammering on the second and third finger while I'm picking up on that second string. So the whole sequence would be. Okay, now we have a new chord here. Here's a B7 chord. 